So what about toe to toe? Is the attack happening first now? That is the question. That is the question. So yeah, toe to toe. Toe to toe. The thing is, we don't know. And I know a lot of people. Uh, we came out the video today, right? About about toe to toe, and there's been a lot of comments on it, and which is really cool to see, right? It's always really cool to see people interact with this rule stuff. Um, but I think people that are just writing off the argument are kind of missing the point and filling in gaps that aren't there. Um, because what what is going on with with toe to toe is actually kind of fascinating. So for those that don't know. All right, in case you didn't watch the video today for because for some reason you don't watch my content, which is really weird, but sure, whatever. Uh, so this states, if I have Widow's Bite in play and I reveal a menu with Quick Strike, which resolves first, right? And so let's just do uh, Widow's Bite. All right, so Widow's Bite states is a one cost upgrade. Uh, after a minion enters play, discard Widow's Bite, deal two damage, right? So if a minion comes in with Quick Strike, oops, that's not the right tabs at all. Quick Strike states, and I, I should have done this in the video and shown what actually Quick Strike states. So it states, after a minion with Quick Strike keyword engages a player whose identity is in hero form, that minion at that minion attacks that player. Okay, that's all it says. That minion attacks the player. It doesn't say it initiates the attack. It doesn't say it resolves the attack. It just says they attack. And if we go to the attack activation. All right, so activation, right? There's two forms, attacking and scheming. This is what I kind of talked about here. And it just, it just lumps it all together, right? And then it says like each minion does it, but it just lumps it all together. So it doesn't, doesn't explain any of this. The only time that this has been elaborate of how attacking initiation active or activation works really is with this ruling. So it states quick strike triggers when a minion enters uh, and when a minion engages a player and minions enter play engage with the player who revealed them. Thus, Quick Strike and the response on Windows Byte have the same timing trigger. Okay, so same timing trigger. We can solve this really fast, right? We go to the timing window. Keywords, which is what Quick Strike is, is number one. Responses are down in six and seven. Problem solved, right, chat? That is very, very simple stuff. Well, that is not exactly the case because... So, keywords have timing priority over responsibility, so Quick Strike initiates first. Cool. Done. Widow's Bite can be triggered after the Quick Strike attack initiates. Right? They're, they're, they're dis, there's a distinction with attacking. They're saying the attack initiates. If the damage from Widow's Bite defeats the attacking enemy, it does not resolve it. Otherwise, the attack resolves and the enemy will be stunned for its next attack. So, this is actually really confusing because... What they're saying is you do timing number one to initiate the attack, then timing number seven to deal damage, go back to timing number one to finish the attack, and then go back to timing number seven to do the rest of it, which is stunning the enemy. Right? That whole timing sequence doesn't even make sense. Like, none of that makes sense. Um, so anyway, this is the first real, real response that we've had with initiation. So the whole idea with toe-to-toe... -to -toe, is that it states choose an enemy that enemy attacks you deal five damage to the enemy right one cost event now any sane human being myself include will go well what it's saying is was that we follow the card line by line right we follow it line by line and we have to do everything on the line okay choose an enemy done that enemy attacks you now everyone assumes that you have to resolve the activation of that attack doesn't say that it just says the enemy attacks you and there's no difference in the wording between initiates attack resolving attack but we'll get into that because you could say that's a gray area deal five damage to the enemy so the argument is that you can initiate the attack without finishing the attack and then dealing five damage to the enemy now why would this be the case right why what d20 you're just making all this up right this is this is ridiculous this doesn't make sense well we have a ruling this is from january 11th of this year 2024 do responses and keywords wait for a full sentence to resolve? After I, I have played Hawkeye Leadership and Ally and play with an arrow counter on him, I reveal Planetary Invasion. Now, if you're like me and don't remember what that card is, because I sure didn't, 
Uh, so planetary invasion states discard cards on the top of the encounter deck until you discard a million minion. Reveal that minion, then give it a tough status. Okay, so just FYI, that's what that is because I didn't know what it was. The minion I discarded has the quick strike keyword. What's the timing order here with planetary invasions last sentence? Uh, and then in most cases, yes, the sentence ability must fully resolve before responses to that sentence can occur. That in mind, this is the events. The card is revealed. Okay, card is revealed. Simple. Cards are discarded from the encounter deck until the minion is discarded. Simple. The minion is revealed and its quick strike keyword resolves, initiating its attack. The steps of the attack will then resolve the next available opportunity. The minion is then given a tough status card immediately after this because it is in the same sentence as the reveal of the planetary invasion, right? So you have to do the rest of the sentence. Okay, that's fine. Then Hawkeye's response is triggered. Then the minion resolves its attack. Again, this never states that with, with the whole quick strike thing that, you know, it's a separate initiative attack or anything. It just says attack. That's it. You may now be saying, well, D20. This is just a quick strike issue, right? This is just an issue with quick strike, right? They need to figure this out because they they messed up on the wording of quick strike. That's all this is. That's all this is, is D20s. They just messed up on that. Not so fast, my friend. Because we have an even more recent ruling. This is ruling of February 15th. Rule 147 on Hall of Heroes. So in a multi-sentence ability, if an earlier effect sentence initiates an attack, does that attack wait for the later effect sentence to resolve before his initiated attack resolves. For example, now, I want you all to participate in this with me for a second. We're going to take Crossbones. We're going to take his Machine Gun. And then we're going to take... What's the other card that they state? Weapon Master. Okay. You have Crossbones. All right, chat? This is, this is active engagement. This is active engagement. You have Crossbones. He has Machine Gun in there. It's a weapon. You draw a Weapon Master from the top of the deck. You're a hero form. It says the villain attacks you. If they have a weapon attachment, this card gains surge. What do you resolve first? Do you resolve the attack or do you resolve the surge possibility? And if you're watching this on YouTube, because I might just clip this out and put this on YouTube, pause the video and, and, and decide at this point. What do you do? Right? Do you do it sentence by sentence and then finish out the sentence in its entirety? Or do you not? Oh, I don't like how this is going counterintuitive to my brain. Uh, like contextually, the enemy attack going first makes total sense. This is a cheap event. The cost that comes with the event. Yeah, I agree that it makes sense that way for sure. Uh, that it's a cheap cost. And I, I definitely think that's the purpose of the card for sure. Stormbreaker says attack then surge. That's how I read it too. Resolve sentence by sentence. Bat says, absolutely. Surge is a keyword, so you would give a card face down and then do the attack boost. I would probably play it in line, um, play it by line in the moment, though. I originally would do sentence by sentence like attack. Yeah. So Stormbreaker, Bats, Dylan, I agree with you 100%. Gingernear, even though it's a keyword, you don't have to resolve it. You have to do the check first, but I get what you're saying 100%. But you're making me think to do the surge first. Crossbones attack, Hulk dies. I don't bother with the surge because game is over. What you all are saying is I, I would agree with your statements 100%. I would. Okay. Here's what they say. This is a ruling. Six weeks ago. If Crossbones has Machine Gun in play with one ammo count, they do one ammo count, but it doesn't really make a difference. We'll explain why in a second. Then you reveal Weapon Master. The sequence of events is follows. Resolve the first sentence of Weapon Master's hero effect, making Crossbones initiate an attack. Okay, so he's initiating the attack with the attack shoe wording. Oops, that's just my stats. Don't worry about that. Uh, cross, crossbow's machine gun interrupt triggers, right? So you do the whole when crossbow attacks you because, right, he's initiating the attack. So he attacks you, right? This all makes sense to us. Uh, remove the ammo counter, resolve the effect, and discard crossbow's machine gun. Okay, simple enough. Resolve the second sentence of Weapons Master. There is no attachment, weapon attachment in play at this time. So Weapons Master does not gain surge. So now you don't even surge because you don't check it before the initiated attack. And then you resolve Crossbones initiated attack. This ruling right here is what makes me think toe-to-toe -to -toe works the way I think it does. That's why. Because you are, you, this whole idea that you have to read line by line, you are reading line by line with toe-to-toe. -to -toe, the same way you would do a Weapons Master. It's the same exact thing, right? The enemy attacks you, the villain attacks you. It's the same exact thing. It just initiates an attack. And because they've made this difference now, you have to follow what's the rest of the card. The same thing happens with Shadow of the Past. People ask this all the time with Shadow of the Past. If you draw 
a card with Shadow of the Past and you draw like the villain in first, but the villain uh, works off of the, the side scheme, right? You have to reveal all of it first before the villain does its stuff. Wait, did they answer toe to toe? Hey, Drew, how's it going? No, we're still waiting on it. JS, welcome to chat. I hope, uh, hopefully you're enjoying this. So this is, this is, this is the argument. This is the argument because again, the same exact thing. <laughs> FFG scrambling to now figure out if toe to toe is too broken. It will be too broken. It will be in every minion slain deck. Now there are ways that they, they can get around this, right? For sure that they can fix this. Really, they just have to get rid of the widow's bite thing. But this has become such a huge saga. I'm so invested, dude. Because of, because of JS and other people. I am 100% in on this. I was asking the same question about Taunt earlier today. Hey, Richie, how's it going? Taunt has been asked as well. And I'm sure other people have asked it too. Because Taunt has the same exact idea. So Taunt states, for those that don't really remember, uh, the villain attacks you. Other characters can't defend against the attack. Draw three cards. So hypothetically, if it works the same way everything else would be working, the villain would initiate the attack. And if you drew, like, if you were Spider-Man Miles Morales, or, uh, I'm sorry, Peter Parker, and you drew a backflip, you could then use backflip for the uh, the attack activation. I feel like they're, they'll understand they're misworded and might errata them. Yeah. I, I, it's just it's just a casualty of the rules and how, how it works right now, right? We, we've done this before with different things that, like, ah, it's kind of, like, iffy the way it works right now. And they'll, they'll, they'll errata it for sure. But we'll have a solid, like, couple of months where this is bonkers. 